Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today I'm going to be doing another recipe mashup. I've done one before, I will link it right in that right hand corner there. If you guys have watched my videos before, then you know I really don't like to reinvent the wheel when it comes to recipes. This one looked absolutely delicious, so I'm gonna try it out. I will link the original recipe and video down below. I am trying to follow this recipe fairly closely because I really want a chewy, thin cookie. So like most cookie recipes, I started with my butter and my sugars, creamed them together, and then added in my eggs. It did say to make sure that the butter and the eggs were at room temperature, and I tried to get them as close to that as possible, but I'm kind of impatient when it comes to this. Having made quite a few cookies in my time, I kind of know with recipes where I can cut corners. So whenever it says to bring the butter to room temperature, and then later on in the recipe, it says to refrigerate the cookies again, then I know I can kind of get away with having that butter not perfectly at room temperature. So what you just saw there was I added in all those dry ingredients, and then I put in the chocolate chips at the very last moment. You want to make sure that you do not overmix. For my full chocolate ganache recipe and method, click on that right hand corner. I'm taking a fairly large ice cream scoop and then flattening out that cookie dough into a patty. Then I'm filling it with a little bit of ganache. I want to make sure that the ganache isn't exposed because I don't want it to be leaking everywhere. Ganache can be used for a number of things and it can also be used at a number of stages. It can be used when it's nice and soupy to kind of dip things or do a drip cake. But right now, I need ganache that's perfectly set up. This has been in the fridge overnight, but I think after about two hours, your ganache should be hardened enough so that you can put it into the cookie. I baked the cookies two different ways. The first way, I just didn't refrigerate at all and I put them directly into the oven. And then the second way, I did refrigerate them and then I put them into the oven. I didn't put them into the fridge because I wanted these to turn out really nice and thin. And I did find that when I didn't put them in the fridge, they were really thin. However, they spread a bit too much and into each other. When I refrigerated them, they were a little bit thicker, but they didn't spread as much. I actually prefer them like this though, really nice and thin and chewy, and you can see those little pools of ganache. It's absolutely delightful. Filling these with ganache did alter the baking time, so I did end up baking these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 17 minutes instead of the recommended 8 to 10 minutes. I am really not a fan of cakey cookies, unless it's a madeleine, which let's be real, that's basically like a mini cake. But the people that made this recipe absolutely nailed it. The proportions are perfect if you want to get a nice, thin, and chewy cookie. I hope you enjoyed that recipe mashup. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of this sweetie fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!